worked in banking and also as a microbiologist. And, um, it was my background and then I decided that I, I did some travel and we came to South Australia and I, I met some people in the wine industry so I developed a real bit of a passion for wine um, and I went back to New Zealand then then I decided to make it a career so I finished my or undertook a, a winemaking degree in, at Roseworthy and then I worked in California for a little while the Riverland um, then I was at Griffith with, with Mick Williams and then I was working for Pernod Ricard for 14 years and um, you know winemaking positions and then um, and uh, operations management and I left there in November 2019 um, and started my own wine business and I also work for an energy company um, selling renewable energy um, so I've got a bit of passion for sustainability as well. The label so Eisenstone, um, Eisen is, is German for iron um, so it's iron stone which is a bit of a you know, Borussia Deutsch, I think we call it, a mix of German and, and English. Um, so a lot of the soils in this region and, and the stone is, is all, has a lot of iron in it. Um, and I, I think it produces some great grapes up in those sort of areas, um, northern Barossa. Uh, so Barossa Valley, um, this wine is, uh, this is what I call a single vine vineyard series. Um, so single vineyard 902, 9 is, is the level of wine and 2 stands for Ebenezer. Uh, so this is from Adrian Hoffman's vineyard up at north of um, the valley in, in Ebenezer. They're sort of um, 85 year old vines I think from this has been in the family for five or six generations so very hard to get a hold of. You can't own vineyards like this or you can't buy them so I was lucky that um, Adrian agreed to give me some of his, some of his grapes um, so I get that regularly. Um, this is another friend from um, Rheinfeld. So Rheinfeld is a pretty well-known area in, in Marananga. Some very famous um, wines come out of that region. Again, single vineyard. Um, and those are all about um, that link to the vineyard and the story. They come from a very small block. I only get a couple of tons out of these every year, so they're all very small volumes. Um, and this one is uh, sub-regional. So this can come from a number of vineyards within the same sub-region and the, the Barossa is they're not registered sub-regions but the locals and and you know more knowledgeable people about the Barossa understand that there's a whole mix of different climates and soils within the Barossa and the regions tend to be defined under the parishes so the early Lutheran churches were established little towns and, and parishes throughout the valley and it's very similar to um, Burgundy in the way that you've got all the different communes through Burgundy and uh, you know we know Stockwell and so I make wines out of Stockwell. Um, now Canunga, I've got a new vineyard coming online at, at Canunga. Uh, but Ebenezer, um, Mopa is another region I get grass from, Granok, Marananga and Sepulfield. So those are all the sub-regions up in that far north area that, that um, are predominantly in the iron sands and iron stone. Yeah. Do a bit of painting when time um, allows, and it's, yeah, it's nice to be able to have them. But uh, look, up, you know, I come from a, a family who's always been quite creative. My grandfather painted, my, my sister paints and exhibits. And 2,000 bottles of this produced, where a lot of the, the smaller um, volumes, uh, this one here, Rowan felt there was only two barrels of this, so it's 800 bottles. Um, and this is a bottle number 84. So yes, uh, the idea is to keep the volumes low. And they, these wines um, come from single blocks within the vineyards and they're, they're limited in number. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. um, whether I sell them out in you know, a month or two months. There's only ever you know, going to be about two and a half tonnes come out of this um, these vineyards. Now sort of from 2021 was an excellent vintage, so I've got a lot more wine sort of coming through. Um, it's it's having a range of wines throughout the northern part of the Barossa. I, I really specialise in, in Barossa. I think the Barossa is, is, you know, fantastic. It brings out Shiraz on a, you know, from a world class. Um, and I like the, like the style, so I won't bring other varieties to it. Maybe a Grenache, that would be nice to have a, you know, old vine Grenache. Um, but it's just, to, to develop what I've got and have that history with a single vineyard so I can go back and look at successive 
vintages coming out of the same vineyard in the same sub-region and uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan just mm -hmm. to establish it.